a gas bubble from an explosion under water oscillates with a period t proportional to p to the power a d to the power b e to the power c and this is product of three quantities pressure density and e for energy where p is hydrostatic pressure d is the density of water and e is the total energy of explosion find values of a b and c now because uh, we already mentioned here that the problem is based on units and dimensions uh, it's known at this point that you can uh, build the solution related to units and dimension however on test uh, we will probably not even have a clue uh, as to which topic or what approach one must uh, select so we'll uh, begin uh, the solution and i'll show why the units and dimension is the right uh, solution for this so the solution so we have what is given is the period t is proportional so i am simply copying whatever information is given p d e and the powers are a b and c so as you can see that there is one physical quantity on the left side called as time period and on the right side there is product of three physical quantities so whenever there is product and the powers are given we do these kind of problems in dimensional analysis where uh, dimensional homogeneity problems are del so we will simplify this further and try to substitute equality sign instead of proportionality by introducing constant k and then we simply have using basic algebra p to the power d to the power we should have b and e to the power c so this k is constant of proportionality and because we already know that this is dimensional analysis so proportionality constant has dimensions l0 m0 t0 because it's a number we are not going to use this but we'll keep that in mind but we will have to find dimensions for pressure using formula force over area or some other formula d density which is mass over volume and energy which is nothing but work which is force time distance fd so can we use this to get the dimensions so let's do that so i'm going to write this was time t but i'm going to now put that in the dimensional form so square brackets are required so dimensions for the left side will be simply t if you need other dimensions you could say that l raised to 0 m raised to 0 because anything raised to 0 is 1 and so i am not changing the left side as it is given by putting l raised to 0 m raised to 0 and then this t raised to 1 will be for the time i am going to keep k as it is for p i have force over area and i am going to uh, simultaneously write and derive here itself force is mass times acceleration and acceleration is meter per second square so for meter i have l for second square i have t raised to minus 
and we are talking about pressure which is force per unit area so I am going to have L square in the denominator. So this is my pressure term to the power A. Further I have density which is much easier mass or volume. Volume is nothing but L cube in dimensional form this is raised to B. And then I have energy which is as I mentioned here force time distance. So here you already have the force M L T raised to minus 2 times distance is going to be L and so that raised to C. So we have and I am simplifying this in dimension uh, dimensional form or dimensional formulas we always have L M T in the same line that is brought to the numerator. So this is going to be M raised to 1 L raised to minus 1 T raised to minus 2 and I am still going to keep that exponent there m raised to 1 I will just write 1 here also l raised to minus 3 and there is b as exponent here I have m raised to 1 l raised to this is 1 l this is another l so l square t raised to minus 2 and I will have exponent c so finally I got everything written in its dimensional form so that on simplification now we start adding exponents and collect the bases so first base is m which has a this has b so that gets added here and this has c so we got a plus b plus c for the m for l we have l raised to minus 1 times a is minus a minus 3 times b is minus 3b and 2 times c is plus 2c and I put that in parenthesis also ml and last one is the t minus 2 times a is minus 2a there is no t here so I don't need to worry here there is t minus 2c minus 2c and I am done so what we got is m raised to a plus b plus c l raised to minus a minus 3b plus 2c and t raised to minus 2a minus 2c so now we have physical quantity on the right side which we know for sure is time period and there is product of these three factors which must yield time again on the left hand side on the right hand side also that means dimensionally both the left side and the right side they must be time in nature. So we must compare the exponents of each of the fundamental quantities L M T on both sides otherwise the equation will not hold the dimensionally. So we have L 0 so 0 is equal to we have for the L minus A minus 3 B plus 2 C this is my equation 1 it comes from and I'm going to change the ink just to show that it comes from L to the power 0 and L to the power minus a minus 3b plus 2c this equation similarly we go to m and say m to the power 0 here so this is equal to what we have is a plus b plus c which is here this is my equation number 2 and then my last equation is for the t here t is 1 which is equal to minus 
2a minus 2c. This is my equation 3. So, to find a, b and c, which is asked, we need to solve these three equations. And we hope uh, they are sufficient, that means they are independent, and we should be able to get a unique solution to them. So, let's do that. So, oftentimes, it's easier to first look at the equations and make your strategy in finding solution and what I mean is if I write for this equation number 3 minus 2a plus c then I will be able to write minus 1 half is equal to a plus c and instead call this as equation 3 or maybe I call this as 3a and this 3b. Why am I doing like this? Because if I look at equation 2, I can substitute for a plus c that one half and that's what I'll do. Hence, from 3b and 2 we get 0 equals a plus c is already found as minus 1 half so plus b this implies that b is 1 half so this is my one finding which is required now we need a and c so we'll say that we already have 3b which says a plus c is minus one half then we look at one and what do we have here in one a minus a and I'm going to copy this equation below so we can use that We can put that somewhere here. Okay, I'll have to bring that. It didn't copy. Let's see if I can even move this equation itself even if it's not copied I think I can do that here so here is my equation without copying I'm going to use this one here so what do we have here uh, I could substitute for B which is one half. So I'm going to get here zero equals minus a minus three over two for three b plus two c. So I have this equation and this equation which I'm going to write as a minus 2c equals minus 3 over 2. Now we can solve this and this. And how we do that? We change the sign, make this plus and make this plus. So a and a will cancel, we will get 0. c plus 2c will get plus 3c equals, this is plus 2 and this is uh, minus half. So we'll have only 3 over 2 here. And this implies that C is 1 over 2. This is my second finding. Oh, 
of the, made an error this is negative one half when you add that to plus three over two you do not get this but you will get one and so the c will be one over three so this is second finding now you can certainly substitute uh, c as one over three in three b which is a plus c is minus one half so substituting uh, c as one third so you have minus one half this implies that a is minus one half minus one third and this can be converted to three over six with negative sign this can be converted to six over two over six and so you get minus five over six and so that is my a is minus five over six so we needed three values a is this b is this and c is this so we have all three values found so if you wanted to write the relationship now which is not asked but why not do it we have done almost everything k is equal to k times pressure raised to a so pressure raised to minus 5 over 6 density raised to b which is one half and uh, energy raised to c which is e raised to one third and so this is what the time period of the bubble which is oscillating and this kind of relationships are found using uh, dimensional analysis and their homogeneity principle and that's the end of the solution